Hi everyone, it's Danielle with North Lawn Flower Farms. Today I want to share with you how to get the longest vase life from your cut hydrangea blooms. Hydrangeas are a beautiful flower with a long vase life as long as we take a little extra care in the cutting and conditioning process. Today I'm going to be cutting from a beautiful reblooming hydrangea called Let's Dance Rave. Let's Dance Rave is a big leaf hydrangea, but these tips will also work on smooth, panicle, and the big leaf hydrangeas. Let me show you how. First, start with a well hydrated plant. If it has not rained recently, water your hydrangea the night before you harvest so that the plant is fully hydrated the next morning. Take care to water only at the root level in order to prevent the spread of fungal disease caused by water splashing from leaf to leaf and plant to plant. Cut the blooms early in the morning before the sun is shining on the plant. It's important that we only pick hydrangea blooms that are fully open and mature. Hydrangeas don't cut well when they are freshly flowering. So wait a few weeks after the bloom is completely open and has reached its most colorful. The older the bloom, the longer it will last in the vase. Immature blooms will always wilt. Make your cut just above a node and strip off all the leaves. Then make an angled cut on the stem and cut vertically up the branch a few inches. This opens the vascular system of the stem and helps your hydrangea drink more water. Place the stems immediately into tepid water with cut flower food mixed into the water. I like to use Floralife Crystal Clear Flower Food at a ratio of four teaspoons per gallon of water. You can also use the flower food packets that come with grocery store cut flowers and mix according to the directions on the back of the packet. After you've cut all the blooms your heart desires, bring them inside to condition. Conditioning is the process where we leave our cut flowers in their original water to sit and rehydrate in a cool area before we arrange with them. I like to condition my hydrangeas for 24 hours, but even a few hours will do the trick. From time to time, a hydrangea head may wilt in the vase, but there are two easy tricks that we can do to bring them back to life. The first method is the boiling water method. Let me show you how it's done. Pour an inch of boiling water into a vase. Recut the stem and place the wilted hydrangea into the water. Let the water cool to room temperature. By the time the water has cooled, the hydrangea will be fully rehydrated and firm once again. When using this method, be sure not to pack the vase with too many wilted hydrangeas. The steam needs to have room to escape so that the heads will not be damaged. You can also use the water bath method. Recut the stem and place the wilted bloom into a large basin of water. Completely submerge the head and leave it in the water for 30 minutes. Take the bloom out of the water bath and allow it to air dry. Within a few hours, the head will be perked back up again. There is one extra step we can take when arranging with hydrangeas to increase the vase life. After conditioning, recut the stem and dip it into alum, a pickling spice you can find at the grocery store that helps the hydrangea drink more water in the days to come. Now that you've conditioned your hydrangeas, you can work the stems into mixed arrangements or enjoy them all on their own. Your hydrangeas will be happiest in a cool room away from direct sunlight. Change the water in the vase every few days and give them a fresh cut at this time. Aren't they beautiful? Well, there you have all my tips for getting the longest vase life out of your cut hydrangea blooms. I sure hope these tips were helpful. If they were, please subscribe to my channel. I sure would love to stay in touch and share more flower tips with you. Until next time, happy gardening. Bye.